In the former clip, we studied for functions and their graphs, and we, by looking at the graph, we see a lot of symmetry popping up. Uh, function f is called even if the f of x equals the f of minus x for all x. So this means that actually f should be defined on a symmetric interval around the origin or the value x equals zero. For example, for example, look at the function that is given here. This is the function, the graph of the function fx equals x squared minus 4. And you see an axis of symmetry x equals 0. And this is an even function since if we plug in the value minus x instead of x, then we get minus x squared minus 4. But minus x squared equals x squared minus 4, which equals f of x. So this is an even function, and the graph of this function, g of f, is symmetric about the line x is 0. x is 0 is the axis of symmetry for the graph of this function. So x is 0. The second example, as a second example, um, we'll find the function fx equals the cosinus of x. This is also an even function. Yeah, this can be seen from the graph since we have a unique uh, line of symmetry, which is the line x is 0. Well, you might think when you have an even function, yeah, which is, has some symmetry, then of course you need to have something that is called an odd function as well. Well, this is correct. Actually, a function f is called odd if the value of x equals minus the value of minus x for x in the domain of the function. So here is an example. fx equals x to the power 3, the cubic function. This one is odd since when we plug in f of minus x, this equals minus x to the power 3. We can take out the minus 1 to the power 3 times the x to the power 3, which equals minus x to the power 3, which equals minus the f of x. So the f of x equals minus the f of minus x. So this function is odd. Notice, however, that uh, the graph g of f is symmetric about the origin over here. So if we take any point on the graph, we find it on the other side of the zero back. So this means that the graph of g and g f is symmetric about the origin. So as a second example, let's look at the Another function, this again, is the function fx equals the sinus of x, which is more or less a translation of the cosinus of x. This function is odd. Why is it odd? Well, it's odd since the sinus of minus x equals the minus the sinus of x. Yeah, we see that actually we find here it's symmetric about the origin again. If you take a point on the graph over here, we find it on the other side on the graph again. A question. Suppose that we have uh, two functions. One is f defined on r, which is even, and another function, so this one is even, and another function h, also with domain R, which is odd. So we are not restricted in our domain, so we may look at the composition of the two functions. So can we say anything about the composition of F with H? So can we say anything about symmetries of the function F through h. So the composition 
F through H. Well, have some thought about this. So, now we're ready for the answer. So look at the compo composed values. So look at the composition of F with H in some point, some value X. Well, this is no more than calculating H of X and then mapping it through F. Since F is even, we may just include a minus sign in, in its argument and the value of f stays the same. So the f of h of x equals the f of minus h of x. And since h is odd, we may write minus h of x. Yeah, h is odd. So the mi minus h of x equals h of minus x. H of minus x. And this equals the composed function evaluated in the value minus x. So what is our conclusion? That the values in x and minus x are just the same. So we may conclude that the composition f through h is even. So now we'll look at some formal definitions of, of symmetries of the functions. So we'll call a function y equals fx line symmetric about the line x equals to c. If for all x, if for all values of x in, uh, belonging to the domain, or not belong to the domain such that c minus x and c plus x equals to the domain that we have the f of c minus x equals the f c plus x. So by looking at even functions, we took the value c equals to equal zero. So see for example another function f x equals the cosinus of x plus two. Then look at its graph. Its graph is written here. We see that f is actually a construct out of the cosinus of x by just translating over by translate by translating over two. Yeah. So the axis of symmetry x equals zero will now become. It's shifted 2 to the left. So the axis of symmetry x equals to 0 corresponding to the cosinus of x will now be the line x equals to minus 2. So, so the question is, we find one line symmetry here for x equals to minus 2 or c equal to minus 2. Can you find more line symmetries here? Yeah, the function is a very regular one. It's a periodic function, that's what you know. So can you find all C that give uh, line symmetries about the line X equal to C? Can you find those? If so, try to find them all. Call f point symmetric about the point P with coordinates P, Q. f is point symmetric about P with coordinates P, Q, small p, small q. If for all x is, if for all x we find 
that the f of x plus p minus q equals q minus the f of p minus x. Well, this is a little bit complicated definition, but it refers to the oddness of a function. Here we had p and q equal to 0. Now let's see f of x equals x minus 1 to the power 3, a cubic function, x minus 1 to the power 3 plus 2. Well, this function is point symmetric about 1, 2. And I'll explain you why that is. So what we should prove or show, we'll visualize it here, that actually the, so here we have the point 1, 2 over here. So we should be able to show that the fx plus 1 minus 2, well, what is the fx plus 1? Well, we add x to the 1 over here. And then we end up in fx plus 1 over here. Yeah, so here we have x, x plus 1, and this is the function value x plus 1. And if we look at the difference with 1 over here, the fx plus 1 minus the difference over here, well, this is has the value 2. The fx plus 1 minus 2 we find over there. Uh, now, if you look at p minus x, then this is 1 minus x, so we get as a reference point 1. We subtract x over here, and then we go down, and we find the function value f 1 minus x. And again, we look at the difference of 2, this 1, minus f 1 minus x. And we see actually through the symmetry of this function that actually this piece is just equal to this one. So I have a point symmetry over here given by the point 1, 2, which is on the ground. So we may also check this. Yeah, just see, calculate the fx plus 1 the fx plus 1 is no more than x plus 1 minus 1. Just look at the formula for f. Just plug in the values plus 2, so we get x to the power 3 plus 2 is x to the power 3 plus 2. And also the value of f, 1 minus x, just plug in. 1 minus x in the formula over here for x. 1 minus x minus 1 equals my plus 2 equals minus x to the power 3 plus 2. Yeah, equals minus x to the power 3 plus 2. So we see that the fx plus 1 minus 2 over here, this expression, equals x to the power 3 plus 2 minus 2 equals x to the power 3. And this equals 2 minus fx, f1 minus x, since this is 2 minus, minus x to the power 3 plus 2 equals 2 minus f1 minus x.